thank you. There's a moment that we all, as uh, I guess people, get engaged and become in the Christmas spirit. Um, for some, it's the Charlie Brown Christmas. For others, it's some other thing that grandma coming by or making tamales or something else. We want this event to be that moment for our Antelope Valley residents, that this is the time, this is the place, this is the event that says, I am now in the Christmas spirit. It is now time for Christmas. So um, it has done it for me today, this morning, and uh, we hope to do it for thousands of our residents coming soon. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to introduce Senator Johnson, our councilwoman. This is a great time that we build memories, and we, if we haven't started, it's a great time to start traditions. And one of the traditions that I fondly remember in my long, long time ago when I was a kid is when my mom, when she found the layaway. And I'll never, never forget when she found out that there was something that existed as layaway at Gemco at the time, she was so excited that she started a tradition. And the tradition that she started is, is that she would put this fancy dancy foo-foo party dress in layaway for me. And on Christmas morning, the beautiful party dress would very beautifully be laid on my bed. And I would be woken up with this beautiful dress on my bed. She did this every year. So I was blessed when we had our daughter to keep that tradition going. So to this year, our daughter looks forward to her not so foo-foo party dress. And unfortunately, Jemco's not here, so we can't put it on layaway, but we make sure we get the dress. Now my, my son felt a little left out because he wasn't getting a party dress. So my husband started a tradition with him, and he makes sure that they go to the Rose Bowl every year. So I kind of started to question, though. I don't know if that tradition is more for our son or more for Marco, our hus my husband. But either way, we're building traditions. And my point is that this is a great time to do this with what we're having here at the Magical Boulevard. It's a great thing to build here with our tradition and memories that we can build on the boulevard here in our own town and take advantage of all of the shopping. As I said last year, and I'm keeping my tradition, which is buy one gift for them and two gifts for me. <laughs> and that's always gonna be my tradition. So keeping that in mind, this is a great time again, as I mentioned, for all of us family and friends to come together as a community and really enjoy the magical boulevard. And as you can see, what we've done here at, um, in the black box, which they've done an amazing job. Again, another round of applause for this because it takes a lot of work to do this. Thank you so much. This is just a small example of how it's going to feel when you come to the boulevard. And we love that feeling of celebrating such a joyous occasion on Christmas time. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that it truly helps when all of us come together as one as a community. And the way we can do that during the holidays is support our entrepreneurs and shop here locally. You're not just supporting the entrepreneurs, but we are also supporting on creating jobs. The more we give back to our community, the more successful we are. So I leave with that saying, let's enjoy our families, our friends, and our communities. Merry Christmas to everyone and God bless you. Thank you. I wanna talk a little more on the tradition of Magical Boulevard Christmas and families and our community. Um, three years ago, the boulevard was getting renovated and we were tasked as Parks Department to plan a series of events. And we had to decide which holidays we're gonna do and what themes we're gonna do. And we finally decided on Celebrate America, which honors military, police, fire, and other heroes, and what is right with America. We also had Boulevard, which is a safe alternative place for kids and families to come spend Halloween. The third one we decided was Magical Boulevard Christmas. And we said, okay, what's the theme? What are we gonna do? We just thought it would be a good place to build memories for families and start a tradition here in the Animal Valley. Um, we all have our own traditions. I grew up in New York City, went to Radio City Music Hall, Rockettes, et cetera, Macy's Window. Some of you might have gone ice skating, which relative's house you spent Christmas Eve at. And that was the whole thing we wanted to have here down, down here. Just let the boulevard and the lights and the music speak for itself. Well, last year, after our second annual Magical Boulevard Christmas, the Animal Valley Press ran an editorial two days later, said a new valley tradition is born on the boulevard. And that was great. We had so much pride in that editorial because it wasn't a press release. It was not an interview with anyone. It was their opinion of what they saw. 
and it was exactly what we wanted to do and what we had planned. And again, this year, we want to build on that and make this a place where everyone in the Valley can come and spend some time before Christmas and during Christmas and all the way up to Christmas Eve and later shopping on the boulevard to spend time with their family and friends. So now I'm going to go over some of the things that we have this year, some new, and there's always things new at all our events and some things that are part of the tradition. Um, usually we have about 20,000 people attending the event and each year we try to make it bigger and better, taking up more of the boulevard. And this year we're going all the way from the beach to Genoa. And one of the main things we have this year, one of the new attractions is the Lancaster Baptist Choir and Orchestra. It's about 160 people in the choir, about 60 in the orchestra. They're going to play on a stage right by MOA at Ehrlich Avenue. They're going to do three shows down there and it's going to be fantastic. We also have a walk through snow globe. That is a new uh, addition. It's 16 feet around, it's not here yet. And we'll have snow in there and families can go in and take a picture. Another new attraction we have is our gingerbread house, which Mrs. Kloss will be there. We'll have cookies, kids can walk through, and of course it'll be decorated like a gingerbread house. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the entertainment we have now. And again, thanks to the Sunday Night Singers uh, who are entertaining us today. And they'll be here in force. Um, on December 8th. We also have a keyboardist and singer, John Penny. We have the Palmdale High School Choir, singer Sebron Sawyer, Charles Dickens Carolers, the Highland High School Choir, and the AB Children's Choir. The main stage, like I said, is by uh, MOA, and that's where the Baptist Church will be singing. We also have the Beck stage in use, Western Hotel, there'll be entertainment and a movie there, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and over here at LPAC, there'll be entertainment. Some of the other activities we have that have been kind of part of the tradition now is the holiday train, which now winds two blocks down the boulevard. It loads in front of LPAC and winds down the boulevard all the way down to Genoa. I talked about the movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas at the Western Hotel. There'll be three showings of that. Santa's workshop again, where children can uh, do crafts. Uh, also mail letters to Santa. We have a holiday mural, numerous photo opportunities with Mrs. Claus, Santa, and others. Um, live ice sculpting demonstration. We have live reindeer again. And again, the Chris Crindle Mart Holiday Market, which is an open air market based on the uh, traditional German market with crafts, food, and handmade items. So with that, I'd like to turn it back to Deputy City Manager Jason Caudill. We, we also can't forget this time is about giving. Um, and we encourage everybody to take the opportunity to come out and uh, support the Spark of Love toy drive as well. Um, there's, there's not only opportunity to, to share your moment with your family, create a new tradition, but it's also an opportunity to, to create a tradition of giving. So we ask you to come and participate in that program as well. Um, with that, I'll turn it over to the Sunday Night Singers again. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody in the Antelope Valley join us in our uh, magical Christmas. Mm -hmm.